friends, Dapper Drabby here, and welcome. We have a card opening. I was going to do this for Saturday, but uh, I was not able to do the other video I wanted to do for today. So I'm switching them. I'm going to do these ones today and the other video on Saturday. I'm going to actually test things, this thing out on the PTCGO because Lucario GX is a pretty amazing card. Aura Strike does 30 plus 90 if you just evolved it from Riolu. And that's 120 damage. You times that by 2 for Zoroark weakness, and that's a knockout. You uh, put a strong energy on it, it's 140. With the choice band against GX, it's 170. That's a Tapu Lele. Um, you can put a Regirock down as well. Uh, it's 180. You can put down, you can do. Professor Kakui in the same turn, you got 200. So Lucario just can hit numbers, a lot of numbers for one energy. It actually might replace my favorite uh, stage one fighting type, which is Crabomitable. Um, but I think I'm going to try to put this Lucario in a deck with a Buzz Hole. So we'll see. Buzz Swole. So we're going to see if that works out pretty well. But. We're going to see what we get in these packs, but guess what? We don't have one. We have two of them. We have two Lucario GX boxes today. Um, I was going to open one and then like pull packs out of the other and just set them aside because I really wanted the, the code and to start playing with it online, but I found another way to do that for now. So uh, what I'm going to actually do is we're going to read the back, though. I don't want to waste the time. Um, actually, I thought another idea. There's so many Lucario ideas I have. Actually, I wish I could just, like, go on, um, you know, I, I wish I could just stream PTCGO and just do all my Lucario boxes that I want to do. Because I have, like, you know, Lucario Drampa, change it to Foxy, Foxy Drampa, change it to Lucario over Zoroark. Um, you know, you, it, it fits into so many different places. You can replace Lycanroc with it with most things. You can replace Galissapod. You can replace, uh... I don't know. There's so, so many things that Lucario can fill the void of, which is kind of cool. So, let's see what this is. Time for Aura Strike with Lucario GX, the Lucario GX box. Steel! That's the wrong way to um, say a spell steel, but he is a steel type, so I mean that's what they're going for. Steal yourself a great battle as Lucario GX makes a powerful move. This famous Pokemon takes prominent spot in any collection as this set comes with Lucario GX as both a playable formal, formal card and a great oversized card. Keep your inner focus. Get ready to strike and then make a bold move with Lucario GX and it includes all that stuff. Four packs, Lucario GX code. Um, unfortunately guys, I will not be giving out the code. Uh, I know some people are really searching for those. They're still somewhat popular online as well. You can still trade them for like relatively a lot of packs. Um, but, like, I bought two I bought two Lucarios, so I would have two Lucarios. Is kind of, kind of the point of this, um, opening, was I bought two, two have two. Um, I did the same thing when I got Zoroark originally in the packs I bought two so I could have two. And, I mean, for me, it's, I'm trying to make decks out of these things, but I'm doing it the non-optimal way. I'm really doing it the the, I guess, frowned upon way where you buy a bunch of product and you're always broke. Um, but, I mean, the main reason I do YouTube was to share. Um, I like to share what I got with everybody. It's just more fun if you have people that are excited about stuff as you are. Um, ah, come on, come on, Lucario. Be gentle with it. Yeah, I don't need the I don't need the plastic once I once I get the Lucario out. Come here. Come here. Sleeve. I need your sleeve. So yeah, I think I have it set up already where I can add this right into a buzz hole. I was like I was gonna have that deck near me, but I forgot to. But uh these are in pretty cool condition. I'm gonna put that one back there. Um we're just gonna pull the packs out here. Um set them down. So we do have a Crimson Invasion Origins. Prism and Shadows, um, Lucario Giant, so I'm sure everyone knows what this does by now. It's pretty well known. Aura Strike, Cyclone Kick, and King Tanker is a beatdown. So King Tanker is beatdown is mostly known as the Tauros attack, does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And, uh, Cyclone Kick is the general 
vanilla 130 it's kind of good actually if you can get it built up but uh primarily people are going to be going with the aura strike with this one um it's just so powerful um that you know it's it's just it's so good if you can get it pulled off every turn and there's many different cards to be able to pull off aura strike there's the uh tried and true uh de-evolution spray there's the uh super scoop up let's flip a coin and see if i'm lucky um the ace of roll if i have damage on it i can pick it back up with so if you actually play uh rainbow energies you could be able to do that every turn but um the question is the problem with playing rainbow is it doesn't hit that 170 mark that you want it to hit to knock out tapu leles so we're just going to make a lucario background here sorry everything else just it's it's more important to have lucario up there so the mini lucario uh, let's grab the other mini lucario grab these sleeves here i am sorry if this is a little more jumbled than normal i mean it's six minutes in and i'm not even opening up anything yet but i want to get both boxes open both lucarios set up and if we get any notable pulls we can ring the bell right there so um i guess let's keep them separate and see you know which which lucario wins um i think i want to start with the burning shadows first for both of them though Oh, but look at that! Both, both more shadow packs. So we'll open up two more, sh two burning shadows, two crimson invasions, and then two. Uh, actually, here you guys can have a burning shadows code. Let me know what you get. Maybe you guys can get that guard of war. Um, I think that's one of the better cards in that set still. And uh, you know, let's give you the other burning shadow code while we're here. There you guys go. Let me know what you get. I'd love to know, but one, two, three. Energy. Energy is a fighting. It's not. It's metal. Um, so let's start things off with Alolan Joey, that Rotata. A Charmander with the scratch and flame dot. He's so sad. I'm so sad about it. Pants here. Pikachu. Krogunk. A Noctowl. What's going on? That's a little crazy look. Like the buzz. A Mount Lanakila. Reverse is that a Lolden Joey. Rattata. And a rare of Raquanid. So we'll stick our rares there. Reverse is there. And we're kind of. The bell will kind of split the difference there. Um, I guess we're just going to put all bulk kind of right in the middle because we have no other way to go with it. So let's do that. Down. One, two, three. Energy. Fairy energy because fairy always comes up. Water. Put that over there. We have a Mudbray, uh, pre-evolution of Mudsdale, a Horsey, a Venipede, Sandy, a gas with the absorbed life, more laws laughing on the ground all the time, p, -p, -p town Porygon, number two, a weakness policy, reverse is a rare Alolan Eradicate, we can put that uh, choice band on it and hit for 90 for no energy, and a mix-up is a Beware, that troll... Um, actually, he has not trolled me as much as I expected him to. He trolled me hard in Sun and Moon base set, but then completely disappeared on me for, um, what was it, the other two things? I don't remember. Um, he completely disappeared on me um, in Burning Shadows. So can't be mad about that. One, two, three. Energy is a dock in this energy. Ah, there's the fairy. Metal fairy. Water and something else, I'm sure. Jangmo. Oh, starting with that headbutt and gentle slap. Menke from the New York site. A Remoraid. Submerge Magikarp with the Magikarp sub. Stu fell in the meadow, flapping all around. Larian. A Cincino. Hey, can I get those two cards? You know, I, I want those two cards out of that discard. May I have those, please? No? Okay, take 80 damage. Cincino. Seeing that Gladion. We got another reverse rare with that Regirock. Rock Peak Growl. And a rare Hydreigon. So I guess that's, that's kind of notable. We'll throw that in a sleeve over here. Whatever we have. I guess I should have put a uh, the notable... I'll eradicate over here as well on the other Lucario GX's side. 
Let's get into this Crimson Invasion. I, I'm kind of... I really want to open up some more Crimson Invasion because there's still cards from that set that I wanted that I did not get. The main one being is a Lolan Executor. Executor... Um, I really... I really want Executor because I wanted to build the Venusaur Executor deck. Um, I have not been able to. We're going to guess a Fighting. Ah, double water. Water, water. What is this, a Lapras deck? Quaffish. Qua, quaffish. Pumpkaboo is astonishing you. Salandit with the Singe. Feebass, Splash and Dodges. Dodging Splashes. Cubone, bone, bone, kick you bone, bone. We got the peaking red card. I don't know what Simon. Pile of Swine with the rest and the Stampede. We got Lolan Graveler. Reverse is another where beware. You got to beware those bewares. So this is the total beware box over here. And a Cat Turn regular rare. So two reverse rares from the, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say like blue and red team. But I don't know what's the blue team and what's the red team. I can see the glare team. It's all a glare team. So, uh, what would that be? Which one would be which team? I guess this would be the black team and this would be the white team, I guess. that's. I guess that makes the most sense, right? The sun team, the moon team? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it looks like this Lucario GX is in the clear right now. Um, oh, here we go. Here's two figures I have. This is the chip team. And this is the Dale team. How about that? How about that? That That's the way. We'll split it up that way. Um, that makes the most sense. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. One, two, three. Oh, wait. There's no energy in this set. So we're going to start things off with that. Whoopa. Did you guys catch Whooper in that second gen? Let me know. Gumi with the water down. Beldum. This is like expanded stuff. Unknown. A ball toy. Sableye with those bewitching eyes and that uh, furtive dive. <laughs> Fur furtive drop. I don't know what that means. Matang, we have the evolution within here. Energy recycler. Bellossom is a reverse uncommon. Uncommon Bellossom. And our rare is an Entei. Wow, so these boxes have been kind of rough. Um, I gotta wait for the Ultra Prism pool in the one box to see if I have pulled anything in it. So, uh, have you guys been having this kind of rough time with Lucario boxes? I guess that's why it was probably good to pull uh, two of them at the same time. Ooh, I could not get this uh, Ancient Origins pack open, man. Man, oh man. Two, three, there is no energy. And we're going to start things off with the Gumi, with the water down, keeping that Kool-Aid at the right ratio. Oddish, Inke, with the Go Lurk, Bewitching Eyes, that Sable Eye, Forest of Giant Plans, Band. <laughs> we got the Flareon, um, Reverse is a Sligu with that Bubble. I like the other Sligu a little better, the one that divides into itself. And a Reg Eyes, Competitive it's competitive. So we got two competitive here. Entei a Reg Eyes. Um, Reverse has been on fire on this side. But what's this? Ultra Prism for both of them. So, man, let's hope we get something in the Ultra Prism. Um, we're going to start things off with a Gibble on this side. And I'm just going to get the other pack open right now, too. So that we can just be ready to flip through them at the end here. And um, see if there's any um, last pack magic, I guess. Okay, so the chip side. Let's see if chip has anything special. One, two, three, and energy. Okay, so fighting type box. Let's guess a fighting type energy. <laughs> it's that fairy. I swear, guys. Do you guys think fairy energy follows me around? Because I feel like fairy energy follows me around. Let's start this off. We have the pre-evolution of that guard chomp. Hiding in the rocks, we got Gibble with Gnaw. Riolu, look, the deck's building itself. Breezel. Drifloom is kind of creepy. It's creeping me out just a little bit. Super Speed Yanma, an unidentified fossil. Rotom with the Roto Moto. 
a Mount Corn, not a lot of trainers in this one. Alolan Sand Slash, that is a reverse rare. And our final card is something nice. It's a Leafeon. It's a Leafeon. GX Leafeon. Nice. Um, so I, I, can't, I can't be mad at that. That's nice. I like it. A Lowland Sand Slash. I love it. Um, I use it in the game. Um, I don't know if it's competitive or not. I don't really play that. Um, that's going to take a minute to get in there. Can't, can't, it's hard to put something in a perfect fit when you have two cards in your hand. So we got to be gentle. Be gentle with the Leafeon. With the breath of leaves. The breath of the leaves. Solar beam, grand bloom. I might have scratched it a little bit there. Probably did. So very cool. So that is the uh the the last pack magic in the ultra prism side of that Lucario box. Let's see if this one has the power to overtake it. Really all it has to do is pull a GX. Um, we're going to guess a uh, water, water. Let's go for the trifecta. This is a water energy. <laughs> of course it's not. Of course it's not. I was going to guess fire though before that. Dewpider, we got the bubbler. Another gibble. Murkrow looking so mean. Ice shard, snover. Sorry if I'm losing all energy. It's later. Piplub, a fire memory. Craniodos. We got that Pokemon Fan Club. Reverse is that Prim Club. That can go right in the Apollyon deck. And our rare is Heat Rotom. So womp, womp, womp. Four for four on rares. We got two reverse rares. But, I mean, people don't open these things for reverse rares, do they? But we got a nice Leafeon GX out of two Lucario boxes. But, I mean, I guess the, the main play here is Lucario. To be perfectly honest, it's not about the pools. It's about the promo in these boxes. Um, so very, very cool uh, promo to get. And I can't wait to start playing it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Tell me if you guys have any uh, special ideas for Lucario GX. Other than the way I already mentioned uh, playing it. Or if you guys have a better way of playing it than me. Um, I have tried, I will say I have tried to plug it into the Garchomp Lucario deck, but I made number switches. I was trying to play three of these and uh, two Garchomps, and it just really wasn't working out for me. It's really, it's too many moving parts to get set up properly, and that's unfortunate, because I would love to have a Lucario Lucario deck, basically. Um, but, just not possible. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.